In our last video, we were able to get the frog to the start, and now it's time to create some kind of a vehicle that's going to go across, and that's going to be the danger to our frog. So I'm going to go to the choosing another sprite area. I saw, saw that down at the bottom, which was a really great choice. You can see all these different sprites you can choose from, and I'm just going to choose a random car. And now you can see here's my random car. It's a little on the large side, so I'm just going to resize it for right now. Let's say 30%. Uh, oh, that's a little bit too small. Let's maybe say 50%. So here's my very deadly car. I'm just going to move it back to kind of a beginning position. I'm not going to get it touching the edge right now. We'll save that feature for later. We're going to make the game much more fancy later on. But for now, we're just going to have it start in this position. And what you can see, if I go back to our motion, is that we can not only make it glide, but we can make it go to this location. And that's going to make it, at the very beginning of the game, it's always going to go to the same position. And by the way, we should probably add when the green flag is clicked. That's under our events tab. We're getting fairly used to that by now. Okay? And then we just want it to drive across the screen. So if we go to the control and grab a forever... I'm going to put that in there. Obviously, there's going to be reasons to not have it go forever because as the game levels up, you won't want that. But for right now, we're just going to put in a forever. And uh, back to our good old friend, change X by. So let's change X by. And rather than 10, let's set it to 2. And so it's nice and easy. It's not going to go too fast. The frog should be able to get around it fairly easily. We don't want to level up too fast too quickly. Start with an easy level. And if we do that and go ahead and click on the green flag, you'll see the car now drives across the screen, which is awesome. But there's so many more things that we can do with this. And then it kind of gets fetched up. So Scratch doesn't want it driving off into random space. All right. So what we want to do now is we want that same car, rather than creating thousands and thousands of cars, I'm going to create that same car and I'm going to bring it back to its original starting position and make it drive across the screen again. Okay, so in order to do that, I need some kind of a check to see if it's reached a certain location. And there's if right underneath forever from our control tab. And so if it's touching the edge, hmm, sure, let's go with that. So under the motion tab, remember underneath all of the change X and change Y, uh, there was an if touching the edge, but I don't really want that one because I don't actually want it to bounce and like drive backwards. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense on, on our roads. So really what I want it to do is I want it to sense if it's touching the edge. And so this one says touching mouse pointer, but you can see there's a drop down menu and you can choose edge. So if the car is touching the edge, then what we can do is we can go to this location. So it's just going to instantly teleport. So I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to separate the forever out. I'm going to separate the blue out. I'm going to duplicate that one little piece of blue. And I'm going to say, if it touches the edge, then I want it to teleport back to its original location. You can see I accidentally clicked it. To, it got yellow. Um, but you can see it's already working. Okay. And so it just touches that edge and then it immediately teleports back. So this is really great. This is an important one for this video. We're going to make this way more complicated later on, but for right now, that is an awesome job.